Hello, hello, hello. My check one two. My check one two. Eh, bala musa kuba ganda bange, bana struggle bana ange nga buli jo. Eh, nga buli jo tuwa tutu kana mauli la gaba gagude wo, mauli la gaba gaka gwa wo, mauli la gaba gagwa wo. Kwe gamba fete tuwe la kona vude, uli gwe gatu tuki la kwe tu gawa we la. Balamu sako nyongiro balamu sako mrundo mulala. Ti mjewa leko. E mjewa leko ya mili mjia struggle kuwanga jetu wa sigali lukola. E na umu ntata vera mu struggle. Hava hatu menya hu menya. Hova hava ayongira kuzi Uganda mabega. Ya tu ino kola. Atera tuwele kumu struggle kuwanga. Dine guanga liya fefa wa ino dinunula. Fawa ino kola chenyo dinunula. Tere mwantu mulala yena agenda kuweyo. Agenda kuweyo mguira atu wani lide. Wanku vadeka letu vaduki lide visele visinga na ye. Ia atu watu ina ogeza kukula wanga fefa wa vera kufront line. Manye baga manti njini mufu ya kwa tawala makati wefe tu ino kubanga tu manye vizivu vya fe. Ukula banga tu nunule guanga lya fe. Nyongero bala musako nyongero bewa zo kuvela nga mchali mustogo embera yeji yongera kuvela ambi. Embera yeji yongera kuvela ambi bule ruchaba na baba kwa taba na baba vuzao. Irakati. Ama gezi getuwa fanyi ya wago kubanga. Tuzo ganyeba na abasajia kekubo kula banga. Mbuli mwana gwa waba kute. Tuangida wako kula banga. Tuwa kuwa mu. Tuwa kuwa mbuli chimucho na uba propaganda. Uba mbuli chimucho na kula banga waba leto. Uba waba. Waba teka mkoti. Ya tetu ganye kale. Ne koti na zoba ata nsoba duki za mkoti za maje. Ya, ya wetu tuse kubanga umundu wata niko kuteka mkoti za majenga ato li sivili ya ni chiba chizibu nyo Hila chiba chituse, chiba chie, chiba chigenze wabi nyo 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 nga wochi ulira Enewe, ya etuwa Tuwa tutuka o kubaisa mku mauli lea gumu kule mbezea mauli laga baga tuse o vuli wa muwana. Sere visi nga tuluwa o kubanga tuwa tuka o kubanga tuwa tu inoko lachi. O kuyia. Kuyia cho kulia o kulavili ya familia o kukola ulichimu no kuduka kubanga basa java no batu zoga nya vuli wa muwana te wagala. Uliwe watu lava. Baba agala tu sanya o. Anyway. Mbade ni na kantu kentu nuli ya muko wano. Haka manye, hako mkule mbeza wafeke ya ita call of action kufa wetu wajwa mugunde. Mkoti zo wino idolo. Saje ya tufuki rezike na ena. Na atukuwa mugunde wa mkama we. Wa jeno we. Kwe gama antivyo na. Kola vila dala na ya ainengeli jaa kola che. Jaa tuzo ganya ya tulemesa bulichi mucho na mateka. Gyalia ino kula mulati gie ye ye ya kola che. Ye ya gamenya. Anyway, pana njaga la soka baku vila muka no kako call of action. Uluganda. Kanyo mira nyo koko kubanga. Minzo kudamu ne muka uliriza. Ne mula abanti faba ino kweruwa nako. Faba ino kweruwa nilida. Bana Uganda banangi. Nga kumi nanya januari bili abili mugumu. Tuwa agenda mkulonda. Chari chida vikira wonga tetuna bana kutuka mkulonda. Nti musebe ni tuwa tukena mua angula bubinyo. Opinion in polo zoneza ako lewezee tengerede. Zari zira gira honti musebe ni haita sobola ya dokfune vitundu wa satu kuchukumi. Singo kulonda kubela kwa mazimana wenkanya. Mudu ya lieri mkwanga liyo na liyo na Kwa na Uganda bala kabaka la nchuka chuka Kwa wanga ya lia manye chari chimulindi lide 
Seven ya tani kukwata Iyo kumine kumizaba wagi ziba fe Kababa piki ngo kufa makagawe Kufa kumirimu jawe Kababa sanga ni makubu ni baba kwata Banji kumaganda bafe ni banyina fe Babu zi waonga no kutusa katiki Bada nga mkuna fe Ababo mkise nyo Abasobo dokoma o Batuburi dengabwe bai sibwa mkutulu gunye zibwa Okwe chikecha waguru Banji abawagi ziba fe Baba lawa Abalala Baba kula mama so Abala ni baba kula mwenjala Na abala ni baba temako imikono obe ingalo Banji obusajia babwe Baku biwa Nibuono niwa Nga kumina mnana ni kumina mwenda novemba Umako kuwede Miragiro vya mseveni Bana Uganda basuka mchukumi Baku wa masasi ni batibwa Mluvanyu maluete mwerio Mseveni ya vayo Ni yewana elana yoza yoza Balenziwe urokoro molimo mulonji Elanga paka kati Tewali muntu no umu ya reavu na nidua urwe temu elio iliyako lewa kwa na Uganda. Elange temu iliyako lewa kwa Yasini Kauma, kurita Nabu Kenya, kudani Cheyune, kwa Kim Sekama, kumuhasa ni waliendo, kufrank senteza. Lewa na Uganda balalabanji nyo, government ya Museveni, ya Sirisa Family Zabwe, ilavi ya Gwerao. Kampaini zetu agenda mu, safuli buango mkolo, ukukole sa, ubana che marira, netemu. Zeke njini ba negeza mo kunzita emirundi ya satu Atenga ba nangi betuwali na bo campaign trail Bo bao na emirundi minji nyo Na atenga wali uba nafe Abatao na Ba nafe banji Nga kota dene ba na maulire Bafu na ebisago eviolu berira kumibili jabu Nga wabula yu wiki bili zokatu ke mkulonda Campaign timu ya ngeyo na ya kuatiwa Nebaba tu sako kutulugu nyo kwe chikecha wa guru Ate nebaba la nebaba sula mkomera Nga nebuli kati bachari mkomera Musebe ni yajia kwa interneti Na lagira ni radio, ni tv Ezawa no mkwanga Zile meku reportinga Wado kuo gira kuchintu chona Echivude mkulonda Abatu nulizi bibi okulonda Abali bafude mawanga gebweru Bale mesebo kuja Banama ulire Abo mawanga gebweru Nabo bale mesebo Gira naba abali baze Bati kiwa Nibagobwa mkwanga Nibadae wawe Kubanga musebe ni elia atia Ukulabanga banama ulire Abata liba na Uganda Bali reportinga kumenyi buwa mateka Ne kububibu obululu Wali bugena maso mchiserecho Kumbera angabo yali Musebe ni ngayambi waka kachiko kebi okulonda Na maje Baba obululu Mungeri ya sukuru mie Ereta labo angako mbiafa yobi ya Uganda Mdistrikti nyenji Mumambuka ni mwestani Bana Uganda bagi ndo okulonda kusawa satu Na hini batu kayo Ni baba gamba anti okulonda kwa liku wede Baba tekeza anti bali baso wala okulonda Ba emu pibo ka Na yu okulonda kwa wa presidenti kwa liku wede Apalonzi wewe unye ngeri jechi soboka Okubanti uboksi obulu onde buamu Kusawa sati zoku macha Orede wali bujude Gano okulonda tekuna baku taandika Bapoling agenti bafibanji Neba supervisor Bazi ngi wako Ida neba tuwali wama komera Mdistrikt nyingi ingo Kota daisi njiro Kwania Mkunjiri Kabongo nenda la nyingi Aba sirikari Gabali kuzitua kaza maje Bali bagenda kufaku polling station emu Paka kundala Gabagenda batikinga obululu wanubwa president Wali wu Gabatikinga mwamu seveni Gababu samu boxi Aba bagi zako kubuza luacha Aba sirikari bali bako debiu Baba damu na masasi na zibatonu Newa debiwe nabi alibwe bichu Okulonda kwa gendo kugwa Nga fetu kule mbede Atenga tusingide walanyo Katia umami vya aba kama Obaya aliku gani pointi Obana hiki ya liapulani zokola Ya tandi kukusome hivi ntu Nga yekaya sobolo kutunyonyola Wajiri alibifa Ababari ku National Tally Center Bate gezanti wali nga oba operativu Na aba sirikali ba government Banji nyo aba tali mu uniformu Nga beba jude kwe u Tally Center Ira chilo oze wanti beba aliba buli na mami vya aba kama Ebyo biyali nga yogera Of course nga tebi kwa taka ni radala Na biyali bifude mkulonda Yetu wali tulabie kwa supporting station ni zenja ulu Nga kumi na mkaga januari Zage ndukwira sawa kumi Mwami biya bakama Na atu kiliza obu bibu obu lulu Bivali bako la ibanga liyo na Yaja na alangiri ya mwami mseveni Mbu ya wangu de Iromu rundi omulala Mwami mseveni neka gulu puke Akaba kwa tamundu abatunu Era bewanga mia kubana Uganda No kutu sakati Akachiko kebi okulonda Kachagala angatana Nezo results zekafo ujinga Era umuntu inawa atunula kwezo results Mambi ya bakama ze asoma Usoburu kwe unya Bana wa ntutebate kaya deno mwongo obutono Mkuba kwa we ukobululu Kupoling station vikumi na vikumi Na abafu bazu kila nebalonda Biaba kama halimba abantu 
nti abalonzi chikumi ku chikumi ngabwe bali be wandisiza bajja ne balonda nem before bituma nti abantu abamu eranga nezi death certificate wezili tuzina ko copy ye mwambi abaka mayagamba ti abantu bonabo na balonda chikumi ku chikumi ngabwe be wandisa ba presiding officer abamu be bate kawo nabo te bate kamu bwongo kubanga enamba je bagambe ya abantu abalonda ate ali esingira wala enamba yabo abali be wandisiza mu register kubanga yali amanyo obubbi bwa kalulu bwe yali avokola mai mu 7 yaragira abasirikali ne betolola makagange ne bansibire waka ne betolola ne office ya fair nup ne bakigala oluva nyuma ro kujja ko internet yonna baso bolo kulemesa app ya fe ya you vote ne era ba chimanya nti twali ba malilivu okugato bululu wa fe awo ne basala wo kunonya na kukwata ba agent ba fabaye na zidi arafons era awo ne chiwamba abantu ne cheyongeranga bakozesa zi drone e koti enkuru yagenda okulagira amaje okunta okuva mbusibe bwe bali bantu deko e waka jenali maze na ku 10 na rumu wali wasigade na ku nyazo ka ekisera kigweyo jenali nina okutwalira mu musango ogwo kubba kalulu cafe mu koti ensukuru mu ya Uganda ne wanku bade wali wo kubusabusa kunji ngaba na Uganda banji betuogera nabo tebesiga koti eranga bagamba ekolira mu M7 twasalawo okuwe kitongo le kiramuzi omukisa bana Uganda banange esawa zino katifena tulabye mu 7 chakoze ebitongole bya government e koti ensukulumu yaragira wo che kubira mu nsonge eno saba la muzi okusinzira ku neisa je yeisa ne bigambo bya yogera chala ganti omusango gwe twali tuwabye mu koti ja kulembera je yali yagusala da ngati tunaba ya deno kuguwa aba nolu ensonga zino twasala wo omusango tuguje mu koti ye tugulete mu maso gamwe bana Uganda oluva nyuma lwo kulangirira bichamu mami byabakama nakachiko ke akaba ntu mukaga bazalawa edobozi lya bana Uganda kati atete chako mao ne mami owinyi doro ne balamu zibanne munana basala wo bamme bana Uganda wenkanya basala wo obujulizi bonna otwali tuina babogobe Basala oba tumme omukisa okuleta enongo sereza mu mpaba ya fi mu biri mugumu mu biri mukaga ne mu biri 10 na mukaga omukisa gwe gumu bagu aba wabi aba waba omusango gwe gumu na yefe bagu tuma kubanga bali ba manyi obujulizi bwetu ina kwa manyi nyo era bwe babu kiriza mu koti mwa mu 7 aba wedi banu na bantu bonna be mulaba izo office bazirimu kukolera bantu era bazirimu lwa bwesige bwa bantu na eba salawo ne bayiwa obwesigwa obwaba kwasibwa abantu ne basalawo bakolera omuntu omu kubanga yabawo omulimu kale no lwalero bana Uganda banange njagala kuddamu okubajukiza nti tuli kulwa fe omusango ogwo ngulese mu maso gamwe bana Uganda era ke kisera mwe nga bana Uganda mutu le in fact muyimirire musale omusango kuno kumulwenda chinana mwa mu 7 yetaba mu kulonda bwe bamuwangulira bubi nnyo naye nagama ati akalulu ako bali bakabi yatandi ko lutalo era bana Uganda abasuka mitwalo makumi ya 5 bwe bafira mu lutalo olu kubanga bali mu kawe fube wo kuleta wo Uganda iyo bwenkanya ne tunulira mu 7 chakoze ali demo olukwe omusaye gwa bantu bafe ababafa akoze ebichamu binji nyo okusinga abo be yalwanyisa okusinga aba bafuzi abamusokawo be yavumiriranga mai mu 7 yavumiriranga okubbo obululu mai mu 7 yavumiriranga okutta abantu nokubabuzawo ne batadamu kolabika ebyo byonna byakola nokusingawo no rwensonge eyo ke kisera bana Uganda bashitukire mu bonna be yalwanide banga lyo natubadde tubagama kifeti kukoze sa violence fete tukoze satemu fetuli bantu ba mirembe ate tukoberera mateka endoza ya fegamba nti amanyi ga bantu gasinga abo abali mu yinza akawairo namba 3 aka constitution ya fe kawa obuyinza bana Uganda bonna okola buli che basobola mu busobozi bwabwe okumekinga shua bazao enfuga eya mateka bweba nge wambidwa ngera bwe wambidwa kati sera cha musebe kale no e ye step edako struggle in vain elimu na ababa debebuza chiche chidako chidako ye kwe ye nze ye pepe na nko wola mwenaba na Uganda banange okusitukiramu okubanja obuwangu zibwa fe 
tubanje bitongo le byokweli ndabikomye wa abantu baffe bebaze bawamba muzidroni ne baba buzawo ne tutadamu balabako twagala baba tudize obaba lamu obaba fu tubanje ekomo kukwata nga abantu abatali basirikale atene baba ozesa mukoti ezama je mbasaba mwina mustukiremu twekalaka se modembe tulago obutalibu mativu modembe tulwanirire dembe lya fe modembe mujechi na naboba musebe ni be kalakasa na mundu mu armed resistance na efe twe kalakasa na bipande mu civil resistance ebebe na biri musema teka wa Uganda constitution ero kubikolo bato lina teka lyo menye tugende ku office za government ezikwatibwako ensonga zino tubanje okudibwamu chinzo kutwale kisere chimpi obechi wamu ne njagalo bategeza mikwano jange singa twe kwata wamu ne tulemerako ne twe kalaka samu dembe tujja kufuna wo enjawulo bako wala mwe namwe naba na Uganda banange mustukire mu ngo ese dembe ya mweri bawe bwaka wairo namba abiri mwenda aka constitution ya fe twe kalaka samu dembe natuwa kanya okubulululo kuwambo bwinza bwabantu Gatuwa kanya ukuwamba abantu bafe ne babusibwawo ne tadamu bala bako gatubanja abantu bafe bonna bonna abasi bikuwerere olokubanga tebawagira government eranga tuwa kanya ukwata abantu abatali basirikali na ye ne bawuzesebwa okoti ezama je ekisera chechino wali yo kisera kirala kino tuli no kuchikola rwafe rwabana bafe rwabana babana bafe rwakatonda nensi ya fe Uh, about three things one i want to appreciate all of you for the work and all the various things that you've been doing in support of the struggle i also want to update you um, on the state of affairs in our country and the state of our struggle and finally i want to suggest a way forward i am glad that i'm able to come to you straight without any glitches as on friday Many of you know that along the campaign trail network jammers were always stationed um where we were to make sure we don't stream live to you and in the same way um network jammers were driven there's a truck that jams the network that was driven and parked at my magere home um even informed a few minutes ago that the network around magere was once again slowed down i'm glad that we thought before time and now we are able to talk to you i want to thank you fellow ugandans very very much for the support thank you very much mwebale nyo mwebale le dalaba nange eyala manoi noi noi mwebale ino mwebale le irala mwanyala nabi thank you very much for the support that you've given to us before during and after the elections ladies and gentlemen it is you fellow ugandans here in uganda and in the diaspora that footed the bills of our posters that bought the fuel that fed us that treated us that did everything even if genoma 70 likes to always claim that we are funded by foreigners but we are funded and supported by you the common ugandans here in uganda and abroad i cannot take you for granted i want you to know that you are the wind beneath our wings thank you very much for turning up to vote thank you very much for giving me your trust for voting me electing me as your president because i know you voted for me to be your president and i know that we won we won according to the declaration forms that we were able to collect up to 25000 declaration forms and those that we could not access uh, including the ones that were you know confiscated from us and from our agents by soldiers and the police where we didn't get declaration forms we relied on those that came from the electoral commission even when we don't trust them so according to our tally our finding is that we won with 54.19% in the face of all the rigging we are aware as you watched the military police officers pretiking all available ballot papers in favor of genoma 70 I already updated you ladies and gentlemen that military trucks were moving from one polling station to another especially in the districts of western uganda and northern uganda 
kicking all available ballot papers in favor of General Museveni. Many places were not able to vote uh, in northern and western Uganda. At many polling stations, the voters reached, but were told that the election was not taking place. Some were told that they could only vote for their members of parliament and go back home. They could not vote for the president. So in the face of all those irregularities, I am proud that you Ugandans asserted your voices very solidly. And therefore, I am confident to inform you, ladies and gentlemen, that we won, we won this election. Of course, as you know, um, General Museven using the military, police, and all other institutions of state rigged this election, albeit brainlessly, but they rigged it. Um, we are all aware that the Electoral Commission announced the results before even actually counting. That explains why they every now and then put up contradicting um, declaration forms trying to justify their rigging. So I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for turning up and voting, and most importantly, voting for change. I want to thank you for supporting us during the election, but most importantly, supporting us after that election. You are all aware that General Museven started arresting our people, torturing them so bad. Many have shown up dead, while others are still in hospital, nursing wounds of torture. You, ladies and gentlemen, especially you friends in the diaspora, the U.S. chapter, the European chapter, the friends of Uganda across the world, you have supported us. You have treated the victims of torture. You have treated those that are, you know, are with grave, grave injuries. And indeed, those that have died, you've supported us. For example, just the day before yesterday, we were uh, laying our comrade Fabian in Arua. You supported the funeral. You supported the transportation of the body. We salute you, ladies and gentlemen. We continue to be motivated by your kindness. And we can only say we won't give up simply because we know that you are there. We also thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for supporting those comrades that are in incarceration. You've constantly supported those in Chitalia, those in different prisons across the country with meals, with bail money, with legal uh, you know, assistance, and all the assistance that you've uh, extended to their families, the welfare of their families. Hundreds of our comrades are in prison, but their families don't lack, not because of we, the leaders, but because of you, Ugandans, that dig deep in your pockets to ensure that these comrades are constantly reminded that they are not alone. Thank you very much. You know, I cannot thank you enough, ladies and gentlemen, but I'll only say that God should bless you abundantly, and we can only pledge not to give up. I want to update you about the state of affairs in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, after the election, knowing the kind of crime that he had committed, knowing the kind of fraud that they've just, they, they just are gotten involved in General Museveni and Sonia Zifola Busungu. He started rounding up all our people. Abductions increased. Many people have been abducted. Some have shown up dead, like in Mukono and in northern Uganda, while others have shown up with grave, 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 grave injuries. A young man called Segawa Ronald, who many of you saw in a video, who was paid to paint himself yellow and move on skates to pretend he supported Museveni. As you know, Museveni has always been renting support. This young man was captured on camera telling the people of Uganda that he is there to make money, but his heart was for change. Segawa was abducted, beaten so bad, three of his fingers were cut off, his teeth were removed, he was tortured and dumped for dead. Uh, Good Samaritans picked him up, took him to hospital. Like many others, he is still uh, recovering, but he's strong. Not only that, I can only give you a few examples, ladies and gentlemen, but the abductions have increased. More than 600 people have gone missing. Just today, a young man from Nachifuma, uh, famously known as Jimani, 
was abducted. Nobody knows where he is. And a few of those that have showed up, you've seen, they've, they've come out bearing marks of torture. Uh, many have been murdered, like I've said. The females that have uh, been lucky to resurface have reported being raped in detention by government security. Others have been tortured so bad that they even fear to speak. We have a newly elected mayor in Buwama. He has been missing for a month. But when he and his comrades showed up, they could not dare speak because their close associates tell us that they were gravely intimidated and promised to be murdered if they dared to speak out. However, it's at this note that I want to encourage all of you, friends, speak out. Speaking out is the only security that you have. I always told you on the campaign trail, and I tell you now that the camera is our biggest weapon. Dictators fear being exposed. So don't be intimidated. They released you because they could not hold you any longer, because there's so much pressure. So while we exert the pressure, once you happen to get your freedom, speak out. Your speaking out is going to be life-saving for the many people that are in incarceration. Let these murderers know that they cannot go scot-free. Let these murderers know that everybody that comes out will expose them. That is the only way we can stop this crime. We have all seen Genoma 7 telling lies. He came out and confessed that SFC, his personal army, his personal guards are the ones that are holding our people, even though he cut down the number to 53. But he came out and said SFC is the one holding our people. Interestingly, when the spokesperson of SFC came out to speak to the nation, he denied holding those citizens of Uganda. But again, in the same communication, the spokesperson of SFC said they don't have to follow any law when they are abducting and kidnapping these, our fellow Ugandans. So you can imagine the impunity. President Avayo Nagamba, Aba SFC, Beba Kwatawa Nabantu, Era Beba Tulugunya. Aba SFC, Neba Vayo, Nebe Ghana. And then, Neba Mala, Neba Gamba, Teba Ina Goberina Mate Kagona, Gaba Kwatawa So you can imagine the impunity that we are dealing with in Uganda today. Many attacks have continuously gone on. Just yesterday, our comrade uh, Mobiru James was brutally arrested. And up to now, nobody knows where he is. That's where we are. And sadly, this is not only happening to those in the opposition, but even those that have supported the NRM for the longest time. I was um, watching TV, and I recall with misery, a lady that has been a diehard of NRM and M7 supporter, crying, looking for her son. She cannot find her son because her son was abducted and he is missing simply because the son is supporting change, simply the, because the son is supporting Chagulani. I have told you time and again, friends, that nobody is free. Where there's no rule of law, where there's impunity, nobody is safe, not even you that support General M7. For example, Mr. Tamani Mirundi is a renowned regime supporter, is a renowned Museveni supporter. Every time he shows up on TV or online, he is wearing yellow. He clearly supports Museveni regardless of the impunity that's ongoing. On Friday, the day I was supposed to communicate to you, I learned that his son, Tamale Mirundi Jr., was attacked and beaten very badly, losing teeth and having to go through an operation. I spoke to his mother, and I spoke to his father just to communicate to them and express my concern um, with them. But this speaks to many of us. The only cases that we can update you about, the only cases that we can talk about are the popular cases, are the outstanding cases. But these are only an example of the grave, grave human rights abuses that are ongoing in Uganda today. Imagine if the military attacks and tortures and brutalizes children of renowned NRM supporters. What do you think happens to the rest 
of the country. What do you think happens to the little known young men and women in the ghetto? That is where we are. That is who Moseven really is. Uh, we sympathize with you, friends. Tuba sasira, tuimiri denamwe, naira tuagala mumanye mikwano jafe. Tibye tuogera ko, biku tukakubulimu untu. Injustice to one is injustice to all. What affects one directly affects all indirectly. Eche chinyi giriza abantu abamu directly. Chinyi giriza nabalala indirectly. Nesonga luachi, na mweba nafe. Abagama tumuwa gira mwai museveni. Tetumuwa la nangu omuntu. Na hitu wala na evi kolobero museveni vyako la. Museveni ya vumiriranga idi amin. Now he's doing ten times worse than idi amin. And that should speak to you. It should speak to all of us. We are fighting against injustice, against impunity, against lawlessness, against state-inspired violence, against human rights abuses. And nobody is safe until we are all safe. So it is sad, very sad to know. I mean, the other day I was in Chitalia visiting some of our comrades. But among them is a 21-year-old young man. His name is Mujuche also known as Lukman. Lukman Kampala is our cameraman. He turned 21 years yesterday. But Lukman was arrested and now detained in Chitalia for simply associating with National Unity Platform, for simply being a member of People Power, for simply supporting Chagulanyi and being a friend to Chagulanyi. Lukman's father was among the soldiers that ushered in the NRM regime. Lukman fought to, you know, to bring in, Lukman's father, sorry, for to bring in uh, Museveni into power. Tatawa Lukman, that the son will live in a better Uganda. These, our parents, struggled to make sure that children um, live in a better Uganda. But here we are watching Rafael Mwejuche, a son to an NRA Bushiro, who is now in Chitalia simply because he is exercising his democratic right. That is very sad. Many young men and women have been arrested, rounded up. We have had numerous stories. When I was in Chitalia, I was informed that up to 90% of the inmates in Chitalia government prison are brought in for being associated with NUP. Some of them were arrested um, on taxi, uh, you know, parks. A taxi comes and the conductor is calling Kampala, Kampala, Genderao, and they all get in. They drive up to CMI. Why? Because Museveni fears young people. Museveni knows that young people have been betrayed. He has, you know, duped them, and he knows that they are not supporting him. And he fears them because he knows they will assert their right in one way or another. So he's rounding the, up Nalumanya, Nesalumanya. Many of them are charged for possession of military stores. Many of them have never seen a beret like the one, or never touched a beret like the one I'm wearing. But when they reach there, they are put um, in a room, made to wear a beret, a picture is taken, and they are detained in Chitalia. That is how sad it is, ladies and gentlemen. Many of our children, our little young brothers and sisters, who are supposed to be returning to school, are actually missing their senior four and senior six exams. Why? Because they are in prison. Why are they in prison? Simply because they want change or simply because they are young people. And the old man that is ruling us on gunpoint is scared of young people. Many challenges, friends. We are aware that the economy is in shambles. We are aware of the rampant unemployment so many businesses have crumbled. Many people have lost their jobs. Why? Because General Museveni wants to keep us in that position. Businesses have suffered, ladies and gentlemen. And yet, many parents like me here have to take back their children to school. But the same people that want to take back their children to school actually don't even have what to feed the children because of the conditions that have been created by General Museveni. COVID-19 itself is being used as a political tool and as if that's not enough, General Museveni has imposed a political curfew. So many of our people survive on border-border business 
but by seven, border borders are not allowed to work. As a person that grew up in the ghetto, as a person that always worked at night, there's something called the night economy. The people that rule over us don't know that actually there are millions of people that survive on the night economy. Those who cook tea and food, those who work in entertainment places, those who work in taxi parks at night, those who work through the night, they cannot work anymore. These are people that are expected to survive. These are people that are supposed to pay school fees for children. But unfortunately, their lives were put to a halt. There's no justification. There's no, Museveni cannot explain the relationship between curfew and COVID-19. But they continue to impose a curfew on our people, even when it's not justified. Chinono chabulabe nyo mikwano jangi. Chabulabe nyo okulaba anti abatu kulembira tebafa yo. Aba na Uganda banji nyo gemirimu jabe jachiro. Ngaba buba surviving la ku night economy. Go muntu wako zeke mundongo. Go muntu wako zeke mbola mwe chiro. Mutakse ze chiro. Mikole je chiro. Tumanyi niti banji abafumba chai kuzipaka. Abafuga zibode chiro. Abafuga takse chiro. Ngo majivuga misano mulala. Jivuga chiro. Bodo majivuga misano mulala. Jivuga chiro. Nebira lefana na buwe bitio. Obula mbua abwe. Bwa koma. Wachi. Kuwa mseve ni ya teka o kafiu. Taso wala kunyo nyula. Nti kafiu. Ega sabu eti. Kumukluanyisa uvulwade. During the day, the towns are packed. But at night, simply because he wants to subjugate the people and keep them under stiff control, he has imposed that curfew. And every, every now and then when he's scared of what would happen, he tightens the curfew. We criticize that in the hardest terms possible. But again, criticizing it is not going to be enough, ladies and gentlemen. In our suggested way forward, Maybe we'll suggest a few things, but like I constantly say, it's also upon you, the people of Uganda. It's not only upon the leaders. You are leaders too, so you can also devise solutions. Besides the night economy that has died, the health care sector, we borrowed loads of money to revamp our health care. We had expectations that maybe the COVID-19 pandemic might give us reason to refurbish our hospitals, to restock our hospitals, to have medicines in our hospitals. Alas, General Museveni used all the borrowed money to ensure that he uses it in campaigns, to ensure that he uses that money to, you know, uh, perpetuate himself in power. And for that reason, our health sector continues to sink. Our hospitals and health centers continue to be sick themselves. People suffering from COVID-19 are dying here in Uganda because of reasons like lack of oxygen. You can imagine in a pandemic, in a health crisis, hospitals are doing worse than they were doing before, despite of the trillions uh, borrowed. Insecurity. We are facing insecurity brought by security. What do I mean? It is the security agencies that are supposed to guarantee security. Very unfortunately, they are the ones that are increasing the insecurity. We are aware that police officers, LDUs, soldiers are the ones either robbing people or waylaying them and extorting money from them. Just a simple drive at 8 o'clock, you're going to find people rounded up. If you are able to bring 10,000 or 5,000, you will go home. If you're not, then you're going to go to prison. Very many people are in prisons having been arrested out of purportedly uh, enforcing a curfew. So this is insecurity by security. We've seen looting by men and women in uniform, extortion by men and women in uniform. Very sad. Very many grave um, injustices that are ongoing. However, like we said when we were starting our campaign, that we have gone past the book of lamentations. 
we are heading to the book of actions. So because I don't intend to take so long communicating, ladies and gentlemen, it is necessary to remind us of the challenges that we are facing as a nation. But again, we want to uh, remind you that we are the solutions, and therefore to point so much to the solutions, well knowing that the nation, the leadership that we have is not pro-people, but against the people. Corruption is one thing that we cannot fail to talk about recently. The uh, Auditor General released a report showing that the government have actually failed to account for the billions and billions that were borrowed to fight COVID-19. So it was a billion in a billion. Government is over a collagangi riches are from Izidua. Nengas are from Izidua. And that is how it has been. Every day in the papers, there's a story uh, talking about corruption, talking about billions and billions that have been stolen. Unfortunately, these billions are stolen either by relatives of the president or by cohorts of the president or the inner circle of the president or the untouchables of this country. And therefore, we can only talk about it and leave it there. And that's it until we decide to paint a better way forward. Number three, the way forward. What is the way forward? With all the challenges that we've mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, with all the injustices, with all the unbearable pains that we are facing, what is the way forward? First and foremost, we looked at changing leadership, and that is why we went into the election. Which election was mild with brutality, with lawlessness, with murder, hundreds of our people were killed and looking at the 18th and 19th of November, over 100 shot dead. Nobody held accountable only for General Museveni to come out chest thumping and congratulating his boys for a job well done. And the killing has continued. We won the election, but we were not announced winners. I was put under house arrest. We petitioned the Supreme Court. You all saw how the Chief Justice conducted himself and his remarks. And that's why I told you that we are bringing back the matter to the court of the people. So what is the way forward? Friends, in, 19, in the 1980s, we all remember General Museveni saying, and I quote, what else can one do when a government has closed all ways of peaceful change. What can we do other than resigning to slavery? He said that before he and his friends took up arms, which led to the death of more than half a million people. That was in 1980. There's a book that I've been reading. This book is called Mission to Freedom. Uganda Resistance News. It was written between 1981 and 1985. This book was written by Museveni and his friends. Um, I want to quote from this very book. I will read for you a little bit from page three. It says, and I read, the right of rebellion against tyranny has been recognized from the most ancient of times to the present day by men of all creeds, ideas, and doctrines. It is part and parcel of the notion of political liberty. It transcends any narrow laws enacted by petty dictators and despots. The right to rebellion transcends any laws enacted by petty dictators and despots, just like Museveni. He goes on to say, the right to rebel against tyranny was at the very root of the American war of independence against the British imperialism. It was at the root of the French Revolution against divine right and monarchical despotism, despotism. It was at the root of many successful anti-colonial wars in countries here in Africa and elsewhere 
for example Algeria, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Guinea-Bissau, Angola and others. Even the, mom, the normally impatriable Britons found occasion to invoke this right on a number of occasions. Once at Rudumaid to force King John to sign the Magna Carta and on other occasions to depose crowned kings like James II and Charles. This golden right was aptly defined by the American Declaration of Independence signed on July 4th, 1776 in Philadelphia. Museven goes on to say, we, to, he goes on to quote uh, the declaration of uh, the American Declaration of Independence and that was in 1776. It says, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable, inalienable rights, that among these are the right to life, to liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the right of the people to alter, abolish it, and to institute a new government. Laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Museveni goes on to say, indeed rebellion against tyranny is not only a right, it is a duty for all oppressed people to carry out. The glorious men of the French Revolution stated this truth most aptly in their declaration of rights of man. When, when, when a government violates the rights of the people, insurrection is for them and is for them the most sacred of rights and most imperative of duty. That is Museven. He says, I'll read this again. The glorious men, the glorious men of the French Revolution stated this truth most aptly in their declaration of the rights of man. That when government violates the rights of the people, insurrection is for them the most sacred of rights and the most imperative of duties. The people of Uganda have invoked this right and arisen to the call of duty and taken up arms against Obote's regime of blood, oppression, and national shame. Then he asked, he went ahead to give us a justification of the war. These words were spoken by Museveni when he was our age. They go on to give us a story of 1980. This is in a book written by Museveni. These are his words. Museveni goes on to say, on December 10th, 1980, Ugandans went to the polls. By late afternoon on December 11th, it was clear that UPC and Obote were heading for a resounding defeat. In spite of all the rigging that they had done at earlier stages of registration of voters, nomination of candidates, demarcation of electoral boundaries, etc., the UPC was seized with panic. Paulo Mwanga, at the time, Obote's proxy as head of government took over the powers of the Electoral Commission and by his decree of December 11, 1980, the decree stopped the returning officers and the Electoral Commission itself from declaring any results unless such results were personally approved by Mwanga. The decree further directed that all returning officers should not, on, should not submit their constituency results to the Electoral Commission, but to himself, Paolo Mwanga, Obote's man at the time. A record fine of 70,000 
1980, that was more than 200 million today. That was the fine imposed by Mwanga for anybody who did not comply with the decree. At a secret meeting throughout the 19, throughout the night of December 11th, Obote and Mwanga proceeded to allocate seats to their party cohorts, even those that had not even gotten 10% of the votes. The following day of 12th December 1980, Using their control of the national radio, the army, the police, and other state machinery, and backed by the government of Tanzania, Obote and Mwanga announced their coup. One became the president, the other became the vice president and minister for defense. Once again, a minority and unpopular clique was imposed on the people of Uganda, leaving them with no option but to take up arms in defense of the democratic rights. Those are words of Yoweri Museveni in 1980 up to 1985. Do you find any similarity to today? If you only remove the name Obote and put the name Seven, if you only remove the name Paulo Mwanga, and put a name of Yabakama, you'll find that this whole writing becomes fresh again. Fellow Ugandans, we are back to that same point 40 years later. 40 years later, after losing more than half a million of our mothers and fathers, we are back to the same place. The same thing, and even worse, is happening today in our generation. So, what is the way forward? I've labored to go into all that detail so that you understand where we are and where we must go as a nation, as a generation. I've said it right from the word go that we are nonviolent. We don't believe in violence. We are tired. We are frustrated. We are hungry and we are angry. But at least we still have a brain. We have conscience. We respect life. We are many, much more than these criminals. We are younger, therefore faster and stronger than them. We are more connected. We could be violent, but we choose not to use violence because violence only begets violence. Darkness cannot remove darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot remove hate. Only love can do that. Therefore, violence cannot stop violence. Only non-violence can do that. And we know that for us to win Museveni, we must not outdo him in violence. We must not outdo him in evil. We must be different. That's why we don't want to be evil. That's why we don't want to be violent. But what is the solution? I am glad to inform you, friends, that... According to the research that we've done and the studies that we've had, we know that nonviolence is much more powerful than violence. Yes, violent revolutions have succeeded a few times in the past, including here in Uganda, but at a very high cost in terms of property and life. But we also know that nonviolence has succeeded many, many more times than violence. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we decided to despise violence and take up non-violence. Because non-violence is much easier to participate in. So as a way forward, ladies and gentlemen, having tried all the legal ways and seeming to hit a wall, we remembered that we have not exhausted all legal ways. For example, Article 3 in fact, I'll start with Article 29 of our, pop of our Constitution gives us the right to demonstrate and protest peacefully against any injustice. It is within our Constitution. And Article 3 of our Constitution makes it not only right, but a duty for the people of Uganda to rise up peacefully and unarmed. As a matter of fact, it gives us the right to use 
everything possible to restore constitutionalism once it has been overthrown. It's clear that General Museveni, using the military and other goons that carry guns but not in uniform, has overthrown the constitution. So we, as the people of Uganda, have a duty, not only right, but a duty to rise to the occasion and restore constitutionalism in this, our country. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, it's with that backdrop that we decided to announce peaceful protests. We called for peaceful protests because they are lawful. We called for peaceful protests because they work. We called for peaceful protests because they are our solution now. We know that Museveni is the kind of person that will respond to anything with violence. He only knows violence. He cannot tell us anything anymore. He cannot convince us anymore. Therefore, he will resort to violence at the quickest provocation. He resorts to violence. And indeed, since the day we called for peaceful protests, in the last four days, more than 230 innocent Ugandans have been arrested and remanded. Many of them are in Chitalia. As a matter of fact, even those that were not protesting, but because this is a very scared regime, they were arrested and they are remanded in Chitalia. The abductions increased and they continue. I am here, first and foremost, to give you confidence, brothers and sisters, that this 